Hey there, it's Brandon with Rosic Media, and I'm going to show you how to set up your company email on your iPhone. So, for instance, in this example, we're going to use a fake company email of ours to show you the setup process, which is test at rosicmedia.com. So this is a lot different than setting up a Gmail, Outlook, or any of those other emails. First thing you're going to do is go to settings. And right here at the very top, you're going to go to passwords and accounts. And at the bottom here, you're going to go to add account. Go ahead and click other at the bottom. And hit add mail account at the top. So here you'd put the name that you want to show up when you uh, send emails. Then you put your email address. This is an example, so the, don't email this address, email address, I won't get it. And the password that you set up with your um, hosting account. Usually your emails are set up whoever your hosting account for your website is. Okay. Uh, description, you can change this if you want. Um, I'm going to actually show you how to do that later, but you don't need to do anything right now, so I would just you know leave that alone. And go ahead and hit next. I would keep this at IMAP, the one on the left. Pops on the right. I would just keep it at IMAP. Um, so now you're going to set up your incoming and outgoing mail server. It, it sounds scary. It's actually super easy. I always like to put in just the domain name, so just your website name, only because if you have an SSL certificate enabled on your website, which is basically that little like green lock thing in the search bar next to your web address, um, then you wanna just use your regular domain. It just adds an, an extra level of security when you're logging in and logging out. So go ahead and enter your username, which is your email address. Okay, password's already pre-filled because I did that in the previous screen. And we're gonna do the same thing for outgoing. here so you, if you notice on username and password it says optional um, I just go ahead and enter it it's not going to hurt anything okay now <clears throat> if you get an error an error that uh, couldn't be verified or didn't work uh, usually means there's an issue with your SSL certificate on your website in that case, the only thing you have to do is go to your mail, your uh, host name, and add a mail dot. And same with your, um, come on, your outgoing. Okay, but I always recommend doing it this way first. All right, once we're done, we hit next. There we go, that was quick. Sometimes I've had it go for almost like 30 seconds. It can take a while. It just depends on how fast it communicates with your hosting servers to uh, get the information. So we wanna leave this green little button here, check for mail, because we wanna send and receive mail. If you would like to have a separate note section, on your iPhone to create uh, notes for just that account you can. I typically leave that off but um, it, it's up to you if you want to turn that on or off. It'll just create another account in your on your notes. So once you're all done you hit save. Now you look at the bottom here where this is the description I was telling you about where the Rosic Media so we're going to change that. We want to go to account 
and description. And you can just name it whatever you would like. And hit done. Just make sure you don't change any of the rest of the stuff. So just the description right here. Now when you go to your accounts, you can see that email down here it just makes it easier to find. So that's it. If you have any uh, questions, let me know. Thanks.